So yeah, probably some of the most important tools if you wanted to make cocktails at home uh, would be a shaker tin. Uh, personally, there's a few different ones, but personally, the best one that I like is a Japanese one uh, made by Kariko. Um, it's tin on tin, as you can see right here. This is probably one of the most crucial tools that you're going to have behind the bar or at home. Um, definitely a bar spoon. So that's what's going to be your stirred or spirit forward cocktails is going to be a bar spoon in which you stir. Some of these tools end up um, adding up and becoming expensive. There's always different ways around that. If you don't have a spoon on, on uh, handy, some of them are $30, then use a chopstick. You can really use anything that's, that's versatile. Um, next, I would probably say uh, a muddler, something that's going to crush up or um, emulsify or mash together the ingredients that you're using. Um, I think single-handedly the most important ingredient when it comes to cocktails is ice. Ice is a huge factor when it comes to dilution. Um, that's why you'll see we have four or five different ices that we use here for cocktails for certain purposes. So, um, as I was saying, one of the most important ingredients in a cocktail is the ice. Um, there are different types of ice uh, when it comes to crushed ice, which is something that's going to, let's say, be in a stronger uh, spirit forward cocktail or with ingredients that are incredibly rich, that crushed ice is going to help dilute that continually as you drink it. Whereas opposed to we have larger cubes, um, two inch by two inch, that we'll put in a stirred uh, all spirit cocktail that helps that dilute incredibly slow. So that's important because you want the first sip and the last sip to be similar. You want them to be as close as possible. It's where the cocktail doesn't break down over time and become by the end of it uh, a watered down beverage that's just not appealing.